welcome. Let me get down here to this camera, I guess, or this one up here. Hey guys, welcome to my stream. This is not a normal stream by any means of the imagination, any stretch of the imagination. But we have the box. The box I've been wanting for months. A uh, little bit of a heads up. My, uh, oh, sorry. A little bit of a heads up. My existing chair broke like two, three months ago. My back's been killing me. I didn't mean to get a Secret Labs chair, but I finally just bit the bullet. Now I have it. Bam. So, we'll get this wonderful view. I don't know if I want to have this this camera or not. I don't know. Move down here. And most other way. So we're gonna be unboxing and building this chair today. And it was no, I have that one. There. So here we go. Let me get my knife real quick. I'm gonna find it. Oh yeah, don't mind the messy floor, because uh, I know it's messy, and my, you know, I'm barefoot and whatever. Feet? I showed feet. Where's my, where's my followers? Where's my subscribers? I'm showing feet, okay? Eh, we'll just use this knife. It's fine. Of all the knives for this epic unboxing, I have this. A Gerber shortcut. I don't think they even make these anymore, but basically... This is a multi-tool, but instead of pliers, you have something a lot more useful, like scissors. Good scissors, too. So, let's get this going. Uh, I want to sit in this chair and play some Apex Legends in a bit. Okay. All right. Go. the ash gray version all right let's see what this experience is engineered comfort learn all about this stuff that qr code it's not really here all i want is a comfy chair that'll last me because i'm my old chair i've used it for nine years has anybody ever used the same gaming chair for nine years oh look at this Giant instructions, a little bit, little bit scrunched up, you know. Very premium, minus the the assault by a, I don't know. Anyways, a little bit weight, it's fine. Welcome home to comfort. See, this is what, this is what I'm all about. I want the comfort. This is gonna be a chair. I'm gonna be sitting in for a minimum of eight to nine hours a day, a maximum of like 12 to 14 hours in one day. All right. That's why I got this chair. It's a going up, open this up a little. Once again, there we go. That's what it's supposed to do. Oh, it's like a, like a dossier, like I'm a spy or something. Secret live access. Yep. What do I mean? Um, all right, user manual, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that. Just put this back. Uh, also, they have amazing shipping. I don't know, I guess I must be in a, in a good location. I spent $9 in shipping and it came in one day. One day. Literally, I order it and the next day it's at my door in like 24 hours. Holy, that's ridiculous. Here, piece of foam. Ooh, ooh, that color. Oh yeah. Let me just get a full presentation here. All right, let's get full handles. Slide backrest gently out. Oh. All right, so I did help my friend build his secret lab chair, but I've forgotten almost the entire. Look at this. Pulling. Pulling. Can't zoom out anymore. Do this. 
Yeah, I know. My room's not done yet. And there we go. Alright, well. Full handles. Slide. Oh. That. What do you there? Here this. Here we go. Here this. Literally that. Mm -hmm. That color. Alright. I just toss scissors. Good thing I have scissors. I'm gonna go ahead and unbag it anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and unbag this real quick. So this is see. So I ordered it and I was like, "Ooh, I'll be home th tomorrow or whatever to pick it up." Because it gave me one day shipping. I'm like, oh crap! One day, whatever. It's it's supposed to rain, but I'll be home to get it. Well, it turns out I wasn't home. But luckily, it didn't matter, because this thing was literally in a bag. Like, in a box. So even if the box did get soaking wet, um, we're good. Oh, yeah, we got scissors. Next level scissors, all right? Oh. Bam. All right, I missed the chair. I didn't cut my chair. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, t-shirt, and I left your purple shirt, all right? Ooh, ooh. Oh. See that old man fall on string. Ooh, okay. I was nervous. I was nervous about getting leather. No, it's pleather, whatever. It's, it's fake leather, but this is like... Has like a soft touch to it. Doesn't feel plasticky. Ooh, it's like a little bit of suede here on the side. Embroidered. Everything's embroidered. So this will never peel off or fade. Or, you know. You know what happens when things get printed on the leather. It just it peels off in like a week and looks like garbage. You know, but it's, it's, it's nice. Let's see your adjusting lumbar position. There we go. Oh. Adjusting lumbar position. Bam. Got a... Oh, so this is position. Ooh, it's a knob. And this is the curvature. So the amount of lumbar and the position of lumbar. Very nice. That's my trash pile. Good thing the bulk trash pickup is like next week or something. They'll be jealous of me. Alright. Very cool. Let's put this off to the side. You can also get a good scale of how tiny my office is because this one box literally like i don't i literally just like my floor is a box like there is no room but the box so you know it's going well Hopefully the music's not too loud or distracting. I just have it on as like a background noise in case I gotta do something for a minute. All right, next. Oh, some bubble wrap, garbage, more garbage. This is legit foam though. This is like a closed cell, dense foam. That way if it gets crushed once, it won't be useless, All right? Hmm. Rustling numbers. Let's see. The secret lab magnetic hip pillow contains new beaming magnets. The inner few are tastemakers and other implanted medical devices. Oh no, it's stuck in me. I'm gonna check this out real quick. Let's see it. I don't know if Chat's even working today. I don't really care too much. I can do this real quick. There we go. Now I can see Chat. Oh, man. Oh. Ooh. That is memory foam very soft my dirty freaking floor 
ridiculous. All right, let's look it up a little bit. There we go. I got to tighten my camera. There we go. Oh my gosh, that is. I like it. This chair cost five hundred nineteen dollars before shipping or tax. So this better be good, and it better fix my back. All right. I tried. I think it's in the doorknob. Anyways. Um. Okay. We have the frame for the wheels or whatever. Very cool. Wrap the normal one. A little bit slick there, I guess. Shiny. <laughs> Shiny and chrome. Let's see. Is it made of aluminum or steel? Let's find out. Hmm. Might be aluminum. Yep. So it's like one big Yeah. One big solid cast of aluminum, I suppose. My magnetic pillow is not sticking to it, but it sticks to my computer case just fine. I will let you know, Gamer X20, it has adjustable lumbar and like you can adjust the how much lumbar support there is, and you can also adjust like the location of it too. So if you have like a different shaped bag, you can like put it low or high or something. But yeah, I will I will probably make a full on video review on my YouTube channel, Tech Mode, which has like three videos and no subscribers. But you know what? I'm not giving that channel an ounce of attention, man, like a month. So, whatever. Ooh, there we are. That, I did not order the XL. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be, I'm going to be sitting in this chair 8 to four, like 12 hours a day, every day, for most, except for weekends, pretty much. So this is going to be, I will put this through the ringer for the next year. I probably could follow a video in a year being like, hey, this chair did this. It fixed my depression. All right. Probably start reading instructions, but, oh, yes. So this is their hand rests. Right. Um, I am out of space. Let's see. The thing is, I don't break it. This thing is very, very solid metal. The whole thing weighs like, I feel like 36 kilograms, so 70 pounds, 80 pounds. It might be 80 pounds. Just the chair, which is absurd. Secret Lab box. Hey, Secret Lab, if you're watching, I'll probably pick a sponsorship. You know, I'm good for it. I just bought your dang chair. So these are, it has replaceable armrests, which I will use very much. If I had a video of my other one, I basically like to sit with one, my right, my left elbow, like pinned on it all day. And... I've done that so much on my other chair, I've like blasted through the foam on it. It's just crumbling. So, anyways, so. Uh... In there. Oh, yes. Amazing. Everything's so, like, easy. This is the heavy box. A little bit of damage there, but you know, as long as the stuff inside is fine, I don't care. The box is like crumbling. All right, so we got five wheels, the uh, the doohickey and the screws and the other thing. Okay, we got these wheels. 
I don't know if I want to use these wheels on my floor. Because my floor is like this. Like a wood. Engineered wood. And I don't know if this will scratch it up or not. So I might end up putting my roller skate wheels on it. So, we'll see. What's this? Magnet. Look at these warnings for these magnets. They are all about magnets. With Secret Lab. Which, I mean... Magnets equal convenience? Then I'm all for it. What's this? There you go. Screws, tools, everything we need, I assume. Let's read our instruction sheet. So, who did that? Alright, why don't we go ahead and put the wheels on now? Okay, so we're gonna put, assemble it first. Um, you know what? I'll start with these, these guys, and if, yeah, but I mean, I, ha I have roller skate. Let me see if I can pop these roller skate off and just use box. Look at this. Literally a roller skate wheel for your office chair. Look at that. The glide on that thing. All right. Hopefully this fits. This is supposed to be universal. How? So I got a riddle for it. How can every tech company in the world have their own proprietary connectors and crap, but randomly every office chair company in the world can just agree upon the same connector? All right. Let's see. Done. All right. Let's do this. Putting the skateboard wheels on it for the roller skate wheels. Look at these boys. A little bit dirty. Let's see, but these will never ever scuff my floor. They're real so smooth too. These are. I'm amazed they still make the crappy plastic. I'm also surprised Secret Lab doesn't include these out of the box. There you go. That's my one critique for Secret Lab so far. Drop the plastic casters. Bring in these. I mean, there's only like 20 bucks for them. Off Amazon. So I'm sure they could probably source some. I feel like they could source some for... You know, cheaper when you make it or whatever, but I mean, oh yeah, look at that. Done. Next, go back to our chart here. Complete. Turn the wheelbase to the right side up, insert hydraulic pistons. Slide the hydraulic sleeve over the piston. Alright. Sleeves and pistons, they are right over here. Yep, they fit. I bought these on Amazon for like $20. And they're, they're literally just roller skate wheels put onto like office chair brackets. 20 bucks. Easily. They're just great. I don't know. They don't scratch anything. They roll super smoothly. Like when I roll over a wire with my plastic wheels, I was worried it would like cut the wire because plastic's pretty hard, especially ones they're meant to like sit on. These are rubber. It's like the full on polyurethane rubber skate wheels, roller skate wheels. It's fine. But yeah, uh, apparently they are completely universal. So, man, I'm not tired. I am tired. It's been Mother's Day weekend, which means I'm working overtime. There we go. Oh, I'm going to do this on, on camera here. Let's, do this. Let's just do this. This thing. Yeah, 20 bucks on Amazon. Great investment. It's bigger floors, bigger wires. There we go. Look at this. Look at that. All right, they just they move, they glide. They don't just roll, they glide. All right. Flying, it's falling with style. Alright. Yeah. 
Take it off. Yep. Alright. Anyways. Our instructions for dummies. If you screw up your chair and you have these instructions. You got I got I got some news for you. You're not very you gotta you get problems, alright? So it even tells you to bring your friend and read stuff and do things. And there's also a video online. Oh yeah, these wheels are completely silent. Like once there's a weight on them, right now they do a little bit of like Yeah, it's, it's very nice. Very, very nice. Anyways, uh, remove the four M8 screws pre-installed on the back on the backrest using the hex side of the screwdriver or Allen key. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna take the backrest and attach it to the seat. Interesting. I figured we'd put the this thing on first, but whatever. All right. Secret labs. That those reflexes. You don't even see them because they're off screen. My butt was covering it. Ooh, nice. I like that. So far, ten out of ten secret labs. Ten out of ten, even for costing five hundred and twenty dollars. But once heard from a hundred millionaire kind of guy. Just a few things you don't cheap out on. Shoes, brakes, mattress, chair. And so, uh, you know, things that things that go between you and the ground. You just don't, you don't cheap out on those apparently. I mean, I'm doing it. I'm living that vibe through and through. This guy. Of course it's magnetic. Look at this. This is a that's nice. Oh. Well. Alright. Oh, I didn't need to use the hex grips. If you fuck it out. Don't eat. Throw away. Okay. I can do that. Dude. Oh, it's like a tag. Sealed for quality. What's this? Authentic Secret Labs or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not a name brand kind of person. Not that it's authentic. If it works, it's all that matters. So. Let me put this at five tiny caps. Really, really feeling for my mouth with a small mouth. Ugh. There. Very strong. I guess it's like a foam kind of smell. Which is whatever. Any any good any chair, good or, good or bad, any chair is gonna have that kind of smell. But it, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna say kept it fresh. We wrap the thing like a rotisserie chicken. Oh yeah, look at these armrests. Ready? right off which I think I said before but I like to lean my elbow on these and I've completely torn through my old chair armrest and for this if I ever do that let's buy a new one I think they even have premium armrests 
But I don't know, I don't know what you do with a premium armor versus the normal. We do the right, then we slide the left up. Okay, so this is the this is the right. This chair it is. Solid steel wrap. All the way. Okay, screw them in halfway, it said. Alright. I'm not sure why we do it halfway, but I guess it gives some leverage or something or some gets it. Alright. Left side. Let's swing this up. Push down. Okay. Okay, it's fully tightened. I'm going to tighten so these things can't tighten anymore. So far, probably every step of the way. This is lumbar position. So this is the up or down. The other knobs up the right. So let's pull this over here. We'll tighten these two real quick. And one. Yeah. Scratch up my floor. This floor is supposed to be like lifetime warranty. It's possible to scratch or break or whatever. But still, I don't trust it. I don't trust corporations. So, you install the top magnetic covers by aligning them and then magnetically snap into place. Let's try it out. Why they go through the effort of having magnets on this instead of like, you know what? I don't know. Peel the sticker off because I don't care about magnet strength. I'm not on a pacemaker. You can't really see that. Look at this action. So, cover it up. A little bit of wobble, but nobody's gonna be messing with that, anyways, right? Alright. To the other side, real quick. Get off the sticker. Here's a that's probably my hand. Probably got some like grease or something on my hands. I think I, I rubbed it top of the chair. I hope so. Alright. Next. Remove the recline strap. Next, we'll use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the red screw marked out by the red safety tab on the right recline cover red safety tab. Alright. Right side's got a lot of stuff going on, apparently. This, oh. It's so idiot proof. It has arrows where you pull it. Grab. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to show you the real way to do these things. You, you go to the bottom tab and you pull this thing. 
That's the real way to do these things. Everything else is a lie. Even a little bit of foam on there. Garbage. This is. This is the chair. A very heavy chair. Alright, um. Then what? Okay, that's keeping me. That's keeping it locked in. I gotcha, I gotcha. Hmm. They go through the effort. Yeah, their, their pull tabs didn't really go through, but they go through the effort of having a red dyed screw just for a removable tab. So I think you put this back in as a lock or something, if I remember. Let's see. Remove the red secure tab. This allows the recline to be used. Do not discard the tab and the screw as they can be reinstalled for child safety, which actually I'm going to do because I do have children that would totally find a way to injure themselves. So let's do that. <laughs> okay. All right. It has been unreclined. Lift the chair and gently set it facing down. Gosh, how do I put this? This thing weighs more than my children. I can guess what we're about to do. That was a... Prefer to stick your label on the seat base for the correct orientation of the tilt levers. Line up the grooves on the inside of the lever handles with the notches and insert fully into the shaft. Ensure the tilt mechanism is facing the correct direction by referring to the same sticker label on the seat. Attach the tilt mechanism to this bottom of the seat using the four screws. I am fully. Let's do a symbol move. Okay. You pop the wheels on and flip it over and you're done. Perfect. Here is my thing. No, protection. Bubble wrap. Let me adjust it. Okay, so we got this adjuster, this handle, this handle. Um, I guess we put the, the covers on first, which are over here. Let's see, we have... Tilt lock. Height. Okay. I'm popping this picture here. Let's see. Like this. Boom. There's a little bit of. No, it's not loose. Alright. Let's do it. Hopefully, this works with the, the screws. And it do. I wonder why they include this. Allen wrench. If they have this. Yeah, it's a it's a safety lock on the reclining part, which I guess they could like get their little fingers in there. They, yeah. I mean that's something that I've never seen on any other office chair. And I I've actually been around many office chairs, but they do not have anything like that. So that's definitely one of the kind. Always do a star formation. Tighten your screws in a star formation. Just like a change in a tire. Maybe. Okay, so for being a gigantic... I mean... For being a gigantic, gig like expensive chair, the assembly on this, I, the only thing easier is if they literally just sent you a complete chair in a box, which would, the shipping would be absurd. I paid eight nine dollars in shipping and got it the next day, so they got some good rates. I think it's through FedEx. 
at least in the states it's FedEx. I have no idea about international kind of stuff. I know international shipping is really screwed up. Your mouth made it. Let's tighten these all the way, all the way. Oop. Yeah. Don't touch a mechanism when silting. That's fair. The sticker right here. And the wheels. Oh god. That leather is so. It's not like any fake leather I've ever touched before. They do have a real leather option, but it costs a thousand dollars. I'm not paying a thousand dollars. Sorry. Alright. This. Oop. Yes. Does that stick out too far on the bottom? Is that right? Yeah, no. Here we go. No. This isn't going right at all. It doesn't want to stick. There. Bam. Let me readjust the camera real quick. Not bad. So, the first set. Put this back a bit. Up and down. It goes up pretty high. My feet dangle. I'm gonna go all the way up. I uh, I think just the way. Hold. Let me read. I think the, the metal shaped in a way to where once it's in, it can't pull back out. Oh, these... Well... These wheels do glide. But, the important thing... So, th me spinning right now... Completely silent. Look at this. Look how, look how much I can spin without making it. It just keeps gliding. Look at it. Okay. It's smooth. Oh, uh, see, I didn't hold the wheel bases. So yeah, it is held in by like friction, I guess. It's a friction fit kind of thing. So I'm locked in, sitting up. Or er, tilt lock. Ooh. All right, I got that. Oh, oh gosh. Can your chair do this? Oh gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh. Okay. Let's pull this up. Locked? Okay. It's locked. I've lived that same life. Chew. Holy crap. I have. And you've seen it on stream. It's a Staples chair I bought for $129 nine years ago. And it is like the leaning back mechanism's broken. Does it have a Let's see. Gosh. Oh, it's leaning back like this. But my game is. It's actually locked in like that. And that to my lock, I, I literally would have to lean forwards all day while working, and my back's been doing it for two months. Let's lock this up. Let's lock our chair in a comfortable position. This is like a friction lock. I don't like that sound, but. A little bit too far up, but. Alright. So the foam. It's a very, very firm foam, like really firm, but almost like a, kind of like a car seat, I guess. But that, I'm gonna lean back just a little bit more, and I'll check out the lumbar. So, ooh,
That's down. Ooh, up. I don't know if it's even, you can see it on camera. So this is... Let's rotate like this. It looks white on camera, but it's really like a gray. No, you can't really see it on camera. A little bit. So this is the curvature. This is... Oh, it just sticks out. There's, that is a lot. Holy crap, let's see. Ah. Oh my god. It's almost too much. Back feels good though. This one's going to be up and down. Bring it all the way like this. It's all the way down. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yes. Huh. Interesting. So now it's like, now it's like up here. If I crank it all the way down. It's like down here. That's not bad. And it, it goes higher and lower than that too. All right, I'm reducing the lumbar. Now there's like no lumbar support. Go all the way. I don't know how they do this. That's like maximum. Oh my. That's too much. Too much lumbar. I don't think that was possible. So like between... Because this chair rotates. It's like I'm floating. How smooth this chair rotates. In addition to the roller skate wheels, I'm like, I'm just floating around my room. Also completely silent. My old chair squeaked. Like if I like leaned a certain way, go, eh, eh, eh. if you watch any of my old streams, you probably heard that, but let's reduce the lumbar because it's too much somehow. I'll raise it up just a little bit. I don't want it like on my butt, but I want it like lower back. All right. Well, finally, Secret Labs pillow like included for free. Very squishy, unlike the foam in this, which is hard, but that's good. The hard foam means that in like three to five years, I won't be sitting on a piece of plywood, which happened with my chair before my staple chair. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is good. Silent. I'm gonna just keep spinning, keep spinning. All right. Um. Put my tools back here. This is nice. So far, of all the opinions I can make out of a chair, uh, within 15 minutes of opening it, 10 out of 10. I mean, what what else are you gonna do with your chair? We will see how long it lasts. I want, I'm interested to see how long the lumbar is going to go. I don't know what crazy space age technology they have where you can move the lumbar up and down. But, so you can save for the chair, but they also have payment plans. So you can use a firm to pay like over a year or six months or whatever. Um, they have a few others. Klarna, I think? There's one that's like a a lease to own which i don't know how that works how do you lease a chair if it you like hard to have it but anyways oh my gosh mm. okay that seat's wide too i don't know if you can like i'm not i'm not a big guy i weigh i'm like 5'11 190 pounds this is perfect i could i could go up to the xl which is meant for like six foot plus people I don't think it's 5'10", I don't know. I'm not sure how they size it, but. All right, um, oh, my back is gonna be so happy. No more sitting in a chair where I'm hunched forward for literally 16 hours a day. Not 16 hours, 12 hours a day. At least on days that are straight. I'm not, also, I'm not docking their wheels. Their wheels are smooth quiet for plastic wheels it's about as nice as it's gonna get but the plastic wheels still don't compare to the roller skate ones when i do a review of this i'm gonna link the roller skate chairs beneath 
I might just make a video being like, this is the one thing you need for your home office setup. And that's roller skate wheels for your office chair. All right, let me clean this up for a bit. Yeah, I work from home. So I'm, I'm down here at eight in the morning till like four, 4.30 in the evening. And then I eat dinner, hang out with family. Once the kids are in bed, I come back down and it's like eight. And I stream until what, 11.30? Make videos, whatever, play games. So that's like, yeah, at least 11 hours a day for four days a week, so. All right, this chair will be heavily used. It's gonna be working a full-time job supporting my butt. It just looks nice. Yep. I need to get, I'm not sure why that's it's got marks on it. Let me see if I can wipe it. Let's see. Probably shouldn't use Clorox wipes, but I don't know. I don't have anything else. I mean, it's plastic leather. It's not really gonna hurt it. It's supposed to be extremely durable. Yeah, come right off. Sit my dirty butt into it. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is. This is good. Yeah, I'm very lucky that I was able to get remote work and then move where I wanted to move. Uh, at the same time, I'm very fortunate in that and I will, uh, I cherish that because for whatever reason, companies want to keep spending money, even though it's, it's basically been proven that what 70% of companies don't need to have everybody in the office all the time, right? And renting office space, commercial properties, so expensive. They probably spend so much. The like average company just spends so much money on office space for people that could easily do the work at home. And there's so many tools, so many options. Uh, companies, there's no reason that work from home isn't. I don't know. I think in 20, 30 years, work from home would probably be the norm. You're, it's going to be rare to have. I mean, I can definitely see the reason why some companies would force office work. If you're doing like top secret stuff, or if you're doing like lab testing kind of things, or if you're like it's a more mixed thing where you're not just doing office work, maybe you do office work and you also go like on a manufacturing line to fix things. Yeah, that makes sense. Or IT work. I thought about getting back into IT, but the vast majority of IT jobs now are all remote, and I don't want to do that. If I'm doing IT, I want to be boots on the ground, digging into computers and fixing them. That's what I did when I started. Oh yeah, my, my shaky thing. I mean, I don't know, is it that much of a safety hazard? Far back, that's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. He leans this far back, but then also, Yeah, networking might be. So I worked in, like in a school system. And so you're basically running around to all the schools and you have like, I think we had 500 to 800 desktops in the system and about 3,000 to 4,000 laptops and iPads. And so, this is scary. I need to lock this bottom one. It's cool that you can kind of tilt the, the seat back separately. In the tip. So I can like, then like lean back just a little bit. Here we go. This might be my favorite position. A little bit of rock to it. But yeah, uh, boots on the ground, I'd see that was good stuff. However, that's almost entirely like level one and I cannot take a level one pay check at this point, so. Anyways. Um, what time is it? 94. 
Let's see what's going on. All right, I might hop off for a bit, um, but I will be back. I'll, I will do a full good stream Wednesday, SimCity 4. Guaranteed, might do some city skylines. We'll find out. Glad you could join me for my chair assembling adventure. Once again, uh, first 15 minute impressions, which is almost completely worthless for a chair. 10 out of 10. Uh, Secret Labs nailed it. I mean, what else could I want from this chair? They do make, if you're really a lumbar kind of guy, they make lumbar support pillows that also go with your extreme customized lumbar support chair. So anyways, night. This has been great. HVAC sales. Really? Hey, SimCity 4 is a great game. I highly recommend, not self-promoting, but I highly recommend you go to my YouTube channel, uh, Misk, I think it's just Misk. Mistium, Misk. But anyways, uh, go to that channel. I have a video with a mod pack. You can just download the mod pack. It installs very easily. It's pretty much just extracting and putting in the plugins folder. I have a video explaining how to do that as well. And then installing Cam and Nam. And then, uh, oh, sorry. But, and then, You'll have everything you need to play the game forever, pretty much. So, anyways, I'm going to clean up my mess and probably play some games with my brother. So, alright. Good night.